Okay, uh, congratulations to West Virginia. Obviously, we're disappointed losing at home the way we did. Uh, you look at the first half, um, they had drives of 76, 71, 64. Uh, I think it was 17, 14. We were coming uh, out of half, uh, had the football, uh, feeling pretty good about what they were trying to do defensively and how we could uh, you know, take advantage. I think we got down to the 32-yard line. We had a, like a deep post with a cross. Javon fell down, and I guess JR didn't see, and interception. And then from then, it was just uphill battle. The bottom line is you're not going to beat um, you know, anybody, you know, for the most part, uh, turn the ball over four times. We turned the ball over four times. Uh, we had a fourth down. Um, we didn't make it on fourth down, a, a short field. Defensively, we couldn't stop the run. That was very disappointing. Um, you know, they're really good at running the football. We knew that, their quarterback. Uh, but, you know, we couldn't get, couldn't get them off the field. Uh, but it's a combination of uh, not being able to stop the run and turn the ball over four times. Um, that was really uh, what did it. Uh, it's real disappointing, um, you know, to, to get beat not only at home, but to get beat like that. So, um, we got to get better, and uh, we got to improve and find a way to get our first victory in the league. Questions? Just talk more about those turnovers and what momentum killers those were, especially in the first half. Javon, it looked like he was going to come down with it, and then yeah. it just pops in the air before you know it's an interception. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a tough deal right there. Uh, we did think uh, you know, we had a deep post. They went single high. We threw a one-on-one -on -one ball. He kind of cut back. Him and the – him and the uh, DB were both kind of chicken fighting right there. He came back. I thought he did a good job and thought, thought he had the ball. It kicked off off his knee and they got it. Um, you know, but hey, that's part of it. We got to find a way to to overcome it. But um, yeah, that was that was uh, it took away some points. Gus, the, you guys have tried to stay optimistic through this losing streak. What? What's, put, what's your message to your team now coming off this disappointing loss? Well, I'm just honest with them. I mean, we just we didn't play good enough to win. Um, and we turned the ball over four times, couldn't stop the run. Uh, they're, they're a pretty good team. I think everybody saw that. You know, you look at the time of possession, they had the ball for 12 more minutes than us. I mean, we talked about us trying to control the clock and not letting them. Um, but that's exactly what happened. Uh, when you can't stop the run, you turn the ball over four times, that happens. Coach, I don't know if this is optimism or if it adds to the frustration, but nine for 12 on third down, easily your best third down conversion performance on the year. Is that something you'd use to build on into next week? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, when you get beat like we did at home, I mean, that's something we'll talk about in meetings that, yeah, nine or 12, bottom line is we got beat by three scores. So uh, we got to do better and we got to get off the field on third down. That was a big factor too. Um, you know, they were close to 50%. You talked about not doing better defensively against the run. What changed from last week? Uh, I'll have to look in on film. Um, I really thought we would do a good job stopping the run, give those guys credit. But bottom line is, you know, we, we did a good job last week for the most part until the fourth quarter. But today, um, you know, we couldn't stop them. They got on the edge a couple of times with a little slide block action. The quarterback got on the edge. And, um, you know, they, they had us reeling there in the first half. I thought we would settle down in the second half and do better. What has to change? Five league games, five losses? The window to get to a bowl is getting yeah. very slim. Yeah, we got to find a way to win the first one. I mean, I think that's the bottom line. Every week, you know, this this schedule, I think everybody sees it. I mean, this is a quality league. If you don't play good, you're not going to win. Uh, we played good last week. We didn't win. We didn't play good today. We didn't win. Uh, we got to find a way to play good. You mentioned Monday their strengths in running the football and controlling the clock, and yet they were able to, you know, do that to you guys as yeah. well. So well, how did you try to game plan against it throughout the week? Well, and why obviously were you guys we didn't do it. That was it. a focus of us, mine, and uh, emphasis of, you know, for the staff. We didn't get it done. So obviously it didn't carry over our, what our plan was. Our plan obviously wasn't good enough because that's exactly what they did. What, during the game, what, what, what ways did you notice that that plan wasn't being executed properly? Well, when we couldn't, when we couldn't stop the run, we couldn't get off the field and third down. And, and I know I keep sound like a broken record, but, you know, we moved the football and when you turn the ball over and we kind of self-destructed in that area. I think we punted one time, you know, the whole game. And um, so it's a combination of those things. They did have some short fields too. Um, and I think they scored after just about every time we turned the football over. And anytime you turn the football over and the other team goes down and scores touchdowns, it's a bad, bad combination. And that's what happened today. Xavier Townsend was a major contributor last week. He was absent this week. What did that provide to the team? Well, first of all, Baker stepped up, and I thought he did a really good job in his first start. Xavier Townsend is one of our best players. He couldn't go. Um, you know, we tried to 
rehab and all that during the week and gave him an opportunity in pregame. He just couldn't do it. Uh, hopefully we'll have him back next week. But Jared Baker stepped in and did a really good job. Guess when you look at John Rice's performance, I mean the the the, the interceptions. What what can you attribute to that? Is it was it just something they were doing differently, maybe to confuse them a little bit, or was it just maybe? Well, I think we talked about the first one. I, mean, I thought it was a good throw. He underthrew it. You underthrew it, and it bounced up and it kicked. You know, the one coming out of halftime. I mean, that was a deep post with with a climb, and the climb is wide open, and Javon fell down. I mean, just him and the, the DB got tangled up, and then the guy gets up and he's right there, and I guess he didn't see him. Um, you know, the one right before half, our protection broke down. The dude comes right up the middle. You know, I'd like him to dish it off. We threw the thing up right there. Um, we got to do a better job coaching him. I mean, we, but, you know, a couple of those were, were pretty unfortunate. Obviously, the schedule is a huge step up from last year. But what's the difference with the team? I mean, is it just not depth? Is it not getting pushed in certain areas? Why? Are you not as successful this year as you were last yeah, year? Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably a combination of all the above. I mean, this is a, definitely a, a step up in competition, we, but we knew that and we prepared for that. Um, and you got to play good quality football. You got to play good enough to win. You got to play good enough on defense and offense. One group can't play good and one, one can't play bad. We've had a little bit of that. Now, today, it's the turnovers and not being able to stop the run. but. That's been the story of the year, you know, putting a complete game together. And we really did it one time all year. And it was Oklahoma, and we ended up getting beaten, come up short. Earlier this week, you said it's hard for teams to get better in the second half of the season, but your team needed to. How is today yeah. uh, perhaps a setback? I'm to disappointed. That? I really thought we'd play better. I'm really disappointed from that standpoint. We were set up to play better. Um, and we didn't today, you know, especially the second half. Question? Anything else? So we're coming off of a five-game losing streak and looking ahead next week, Cincinnati, a team we are super familiar with. What's the message to the team for next week? Yeah, yeah, the message, we got to figure out a way to put this behind us. That's the message, and you're exactly right. And our players know that bunch well. We know them bunch, that bunch well. It's one of our rivals, and we need to find a way to go there and get a victory. Okay, thank you. Thank you.